Hello friends, you are watching The Seated Scribe, a channel where we discuss pens and writing and I am Rudrashish Dotto. For today's pen review, we have a product from a company that I have never personally reviewed before. Staedtler, commonly known in this part of the world as one of the largest and most popular stationary goods manufacturing company known for their lead pencils, mechanical pencils, highlighters, markers, etc. have recently forayed into the world of fountain pens. For today's review, I have a product from that company which is marketed as premium resina and as we look at the pen, I will be examining the pros and cons of the pen, my first experience as a Staedtler fountain pen user highlight the positives, the negatives and perhaps hint at their way forward as they foray increasingly and more popularly into the world of fountain pens. Without any further delay, let us now go to the pen. Well friends, the pen has come in a box like this which is housed in a see-through plastic case. Let me now open the sides of the case to take out the pen. So this is the cardboard box and here on the outer plastic sleeve we have details of the importing company and the price of the pen. So let me keep it aside and this is a cardboard box. Okay, so they have supplied us with a universal cartridge. I will be using this cartridge while I link up this pen for the writing sample and this is the pen. So let me keep it aside. Okay. So this is the pen. Well, both the ends of the pen, the finials are flat and at this end, at the cap end, let me see if I can focus it for you. We have the typical Staedtler logo of the Mars head. This is steel finish. The other end of the finial is flat. So let me open the pen first. It opens in around one and a half twists. Well, the cap seems heavy. The cap seems heavy. So this cap is uniquely designed, uh, as we can see, with three rectangular embossings. This is the largest one. This is slightly smaller than that and this is the smallest. Well, I am not particularly impressed by this design. The cap of the pen is stiff but I don't think it is effectively springy. So this clip section and this finial is perhaps perhaps fused at this point and this section of the cap is plastic. The cap looks fairly heavy. We will be taking a weigh, weighing measurement in a moment. Now let me look at the pen. Well. 
the pen is the barrel of the pen is plastic it is a medium steel nib and the nib is embossed with the Staedtler logo of a Mars head otherwise the nib is understated it's a no-nonsense nib the feed of the pen is plastic and this section is metallic I'll come back to the section in just a second now this pen unwinds in around two and a half impressions uh, two and a half rotations sorry well this is the shape of the cartridge that this pen will house so I'll be using the converter that they have supplied with this pen during the writing sample and as you can see yes this converter fits securely and we link this pen up soon but there are a couple of points which I see immediately with regard to this pen the first is this entire section is one metallic section the threads appear fairly sharp and this section is metallic too so uh, this has saved the barrel section from unnecessary strain that is usually caused when there is a metal and a plastic combination so we don't have it here so this is a positive with regard to this pen but the other aspect which I am finding immediately bothering well potentially bothering some users is the gripping section this gripping section has a chrome like finish it's pretty slippery and may get uncomfortable for those with sweaty fingers this is for sure though they have a slight step up here to support fingers at this end but I'm not sure how effective that would be for people with sweaty fingers using this pen for prolonged writing sessions so this is one aspect of the pen that is immediately bothering me perhaps they would have done well to make this a uh, matte type chrome finish ok so now let me look at the band in the barrel if I can focus it for you it contains the inscription as you can read the design is typically German and understated well now I'll be inking up this pen and see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances well friends for today's writing sample I have inked up this pen with uh, Noodler's anti feather ink this is in blue and I'll be using an ordinary 70 GSM paper from a notebook to see how this particular pen fares but before that I need to take a weight of the pen because I am finding that the cap section is perhaps disproportionately more heavy than the pen section so let me see how much this pen weighs with the cap and without the cap when the pen is inked 
well with the ink on and the cap the pen weighs 28 grams and minus the cap the pen weighs 16 grams so the cap weighs uh, around 12 grams which is perhaps a bit too heavy compared to the size of the pen so whatever it is the pen can be used posted uh, but I don't think the posting of this heavy cap will actually throw the weight backwards it's heavy but not uncomfortably heavy so now since i do not use pens posted i'll keep the cap away and take a writing sample Well, this is a very wet pen. It's a fire hose in its medium sized nib version. This is a very wet pen. The upstrokes are slightly drier and this is a stiff steel nib as I detect so there won't be line width variations of the calligraphy type but in any case let me check no there are no line width variations whatsoever only a slight variation in terms of thickness between the slant strokes and the down strokes Otherwise, this pen is a very smooth writer. Let me see whether it writes reverse. No, it doesn't. Well, the feeling is very dry and scratchy. But nevertheless, pens are not meant to be written in the reverse. It was just to test uh, the nib in terms of its roundness both at the front and at the back end but uh, otherwise this pen is a comfortable writer it's wet the medium version of the nib it is definitely wet it's thicker than the average medium that we usually encounter with fountain pens so this is something that one has to keep in mind and since Taylor Resina uh, comes in three nib width versions the fine the medium and the broad perhaps the finer version of the pen may suit usual daily writing circumstances and not the medium because the medium is a bit too thicker for my liking otherwise this is a very good pen it's comfortable to hold it's comfortable to grip the gripping section as I've already stated is chromish polished chrome which will make it slightly uncomfortable for those with sweaty fingers for prolonged writing sessions uh, but otherwise this is a very very good pen now so far as the issue of price and whether the pen is a value for money is concerned I have reservations on this point. This pen is sold in this part of the world uh, with a price tag of slightly over 5000 rupees which translates to around 60 or 65 US dollars. So compared to that price point I am not sure whether people will universally find this a good value for money.
some may find it overpriced but that's according to individual tastes and likings but I find this pen a very very comfortable writer this pen can be used as an everyday carry but the only point of reservation that I have with this pen is the polished chrome section of the grip which as I have said will definitely be uncomfortable for those with sweaty fingers so this is all that I have time for in today's review of the Stetler premium resina we will be back with another pen and another review in a few days thank you everyone for watching keep liking sharing and subscribing so that we can bring in more quality content with regard to pens to you thank you once again keep safe goodbye